Hello. In this video, we're going to show you how to take embroidery designs that are in a zip file, so designs that you may have downloaded from a website after you've purchased them, you download them to your desktop, and this is our zip file here, the Asawa Fish. And what you need to do then is double click on your folder there and that will open up the zip file. So you'll see here I've got the Asawa fish there. Uh, I'm going to be using the Memorycraft 15,000 for these so I can use the MB4 sized designs and that's the embroidery designs that are there in the zip file. So what we need to do now is to transfer them to our USB stick. So all I've done there is grab that window by the top bar and drag that up into the corner. That'll give me that in half a screen. I'll insert my USB stick. That's okay. I'll continue without scanning. I'll grab the top bar there and drag that over to the left. So now I've got my USB stick here, my embroidery designs here that I want to send to my USB stick. All I need to do on my USB stick, find your EMB folder, double click on that. You'll see here I've now got EMBF and we've got a Gerbera folder that we've created previously. Create a new file, so right click and this menu comes up, go down to new folder, name that, enter, enter. So now I'm in the fish folder that I just created. That's empty. All I need to do over here on my embroidery designs in the zip file, select all of those and drag them over and they'll copy over. And then they're ready to use. Go and put the USB stick into your sewing machine. Open the fish folder and select the design that you'd like. Now this will work for 15,000, 12,000, 99, 11,000, 350E. Uh, just need to be aware that you've got a couple of different folder names, but st still exactly the same principle. We'll cover that in a later video for all our 350E users with one that's just specific to your machine. And it will also work for everyone who is using the ATA card with the compact flash card. Plug your compact flash card into your reader in your computer like you normally would and open it up exactly the same way.